Good afternoon. Thank you for joining me on the Royal House of Ra. I am your host, Ramses Khufu El Ra. Today's show is going to be about the 23rd and 24th dynasties of Kemet. And also this would be about um, uh, at uh, Leontopolis and the Libyan Anarchy and at uh, Sadis as well. So we're going to talk about the further decline of Kemet because this is the period at this point Kemet was at its decline when these dynasties came after the 20th dynasty. So uh, we're going to get into that. Uh, once again, thank you for those who support the show here. Please continue to do so. And please share the content. Please hit the subscribe button because that also helps with the uh, algorithms here at YouTube and also help with the algorithm here when you click on to the like button as well. Okay, so let's um, get into the show and uh, talk about this further. Now, this is a very interesting period of uh, Kemet. Not only that is the decline, and we also talk about in Dynasty 22, which was on Monday, about the constant civil wars that was going on at this period uh, with Dynasty 22. Uh, so, let's get into this, and we can um, go further. All right. Uh, before we go, um, let me go down the list of the pharaohs of of dynasty 23 and 24 and then we'll go into discussing about the these two various dynasties okay the pharaohs of dynasty 3 they were located at leotopolis these were the this was the libyan dynasty just like the libyan dynasty of the 22nd uh, dynasty uh, this was also the Libyan dynasty as well. Um, the first pharaoh of the 23rd dynasty was Pata Basset. He reigned between 818 to 793 BC. Then you had uh, Shishak IV, who reigned 793 to 787 BC. Then you had Osarkon III who reigned 787 to 759 BC. And then you had uh, Taketlat III, who reigned 764 to 757 BC. Then you had Rudamon, who reigned 757 to 754 BC. Then you had Yutput, who reigned 754 to 715 BC. Now, uh, this name for this pharaoh is going to be hard. Uh, his name is Pet Fet Jessa Basset. Uh, there's no date in which he reigned. He probably reigned for a short period. And then you had uh, uh, Nimlet, and there's no period in which he reigned. And he was from the, at uh, Hermopolis. And the other one before him was at Hercropolis. Okay, now we're going to go into the pharaohs of the 24th uh, dynasty. It was only two of them, really. Um, and they were from uh, Salus, the location of Salus. Now, the pharaohs of the 23rd dynasty, their dynasty started at 18, from 18 from 818 to 712 BC. The 24th dynasty, their dynasty started from 20, I mean, excuse me, from 727 to 715 BC. The first pharaoh of the 24th dynasty was Tefnunktet, Tef who ruled, who reigned between 727 to 720 BC. And then you had uh, uh, Bakan Re Nath, who reigned between 720 to 715 BC. 
All right, so let's get in. Let's discuss the 23rd uh, dynasty here. In Shashak the Third's year eight, eight uh, in eight eighteen BC, he had to contend with a breakaway in the central delta at Leoclopis, where a prince named Petabaset proclaimed a new dynasty, the 23rd, with himself as the founding king, although members of the uh, Tenite royal house held posts at Thebes. The priests of Amun were as ever politically very aware, and at least two sons of the new dynasty joined them. Uh, Petabaset reigned for 25 years and was succeeded by Sheshuk IV, 793 to 787 BC, and then Osarkon III, 787 to 759 BC. For 14 years, Osarkon uh, III at Lycopolis and Sheshuk III at Tantus reigned concurrently, but in seven. 73 BC, Shashak III died, leaving Osakon III to continue his reign in the central delta for another 15 years. Osakon des uh, designated his son Tekelat as ruler of Hercropolis, while he was also chief priest. Around 765 BC, Tekelat became co regent with his father. But his sole reign as Teclat III after the death of an obscured king called Pame occupied the throne for six years, 773 to 767 BC. Before being succeeded by his son Sheshat V, with his son Osakon IV, in turn becoming king and officially the last ruler of the 22nd dynasty. The coincidence of uh, dynasties 22nd, Tantus, and 23, Leotopolis, is extremely confusing, especially since not all the relationships between the many rulers, let alone their dates, are clear. At one point, a commander of Hercopolis named uh, Pef, Pefet Jaura uh, ja Baset married Teclet III's niece, who was also the daughter of Rudaman. Teclet's brother Rudaman enjoyed a brief reign after Teclet to succeed by to be succeeded by Yutput. And there arose a situation where three men, Yipet, uh, Leotopolis, uh, Petaja, Yorobaset, Hercropolis, and Nimlat, Hermopopolis, uh, were all simultaneously claiming to be kings. They merely held sway over small areas of Kemet, and it was the growing danger from Nubia that led them to band together for the common good, although in the end it availed them nothing. Okay, so there was a lot of mixture and confusion um, as it stated with these pharaohs of these dynasties from starting from 22nd dynasty to the 23rd you had many individuals coming in and claiming um, uh, rulership. But at this time, as it explained, that Kemet was divided into basically three kingdoms. It wasn't united anymore. So you had kings ruling for, from um, Tantus. You had kings ruling for Leontopolis. And then you had kings ruling from... Uh, Hercropolis. Basically, you had kings ruling from uh, Leotopolis, 
Hercropolis and Hermopolis. So you, these dynasties were like there was a constant seemed to be an infighting on what was going on here. Uh, two, you had the Libyan faction who was on the throne from the 22nd to the 23rd dynasties. Now, as I go into the 24th dynasty, it's going to show the real decline from the 24th dynasty where the Nubians was becoming to be a threat and they were coming from the south. And this was the start of the 25th dynasty as we know. Now they say that the 25th dynasty was the only African dynasty. That is a lie. Because the African dynasty started were from the pre-dynastic period all the way to the 20th dynasty. The 25th was the what I would call the rebirth of the resurrection the resurrection of the African dynasties. You have to be mindful with Kemet. The ancient Kemetans always stated that they came from the south. And the regions they explained was like Nubia. Um, uh, they also came from Punt, uh, which were compasses of... Uh, like places like Tanzania, Rwanda, Ethiopia, uh, Eritrea, Somalia, they came from these areas. They were Africans. Um, even the Libyans was Africans to a certain degree. Um, so we have to be mindful of what was going on here. So let's get into what was going on with the 24th dynasty leading to the 25th dynasty. The 24th dynasty, the Nubian influence had indeed been growing in southern Kemet, extending as far north as Thebes. Tefnut, the king of Salus in the Delta, recognized this and attempted to stem the invasion by organizing a coalition of northern kings that included Asarkan IV, Tantus, uh, Penta Ja Yubaset, Hercropolis, Nimlat, Hermopolis, and Yiput Leotopolis. Uh, Tefnunk became the first of the only two kings of the 24th dynasty. The other was Bakken, Bakken Re Neth, better known in Greek myth as the Bakakras, who tangled with Hercules. Tifna probably reigned for about eight years and Bankif Reynath for six. Initially, the Confederation of the Northern Rulers enjoyed a certain success in that the Nubian king, Paye or Pantaka, allow them to come south. The two forces met at Hercopolis and Tefnuk was c compelled to retreat to Hermopolis where he and subsequently the other kings of the coalition surrendered to Payake who was now personally leading his forces. All four kings were then allowed to continue as governors of their respective cities, a policy which centuries later Alexander the Great was to find effective in his world conquest. <coughs> okay, let's hold on here. Okay, so here's this is where we stop at right here. Okay, so there's a little bit what we have here with the 23rd and the 24th dynasty. Okay, so we're going to talk about that uh, on Monday. We're going to talk about the 
fifth dynasty, which is the Nubian Kushite dynasty. And we're going to go into that and talk about that. And that would air Monday at 5 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 4 p.m. Mountain Time, and 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So we will talk about the 25th Dynasty. We'll go on from there. And so the 25th Dynasty, they also had their own problems, especially with the Assyrian uh, threat. Okay, so thank you for tuning in to today's show. I hope it was uh, enjoyable. Uh, please continue your support of this show. We need you guys to support so we can continue with this historical um, greatness of African civilization. And so th once again, thank you all for tuning in at the Royal House of Ra. I am your host, Ramses Khufu El Ra. Take care and enjoy your day and God bless.